Greetings all you YouTube vampires. Um, tonight I want to do a video. Um, and the reason for this video is I've recently like moved a few products around and traded and swapped and whatnot. Um, effects pedals for my guitar. And I've got so many effects now that I have to have two pedal boards, which is getting ridiculous, but hey, you know, it's my world and I can, I can do what I want, right? So, um, all the haters can hate. Um, so now I've got two boards here. So I want to talk a little bit about, um, why I have so many effects and talk a little bit about my signal path and, um, you know, what I'm doing to get different sounds that I like to get. And, um, so the first thing I'm going to talk about over here on the right, I've got a smaller pedal board. It's probably, I don't know, you know, yay long, a couple of feet long, maybe. And, um, one of the most important effects that I have, it's not really an effect necessarily, um, but it's a volume pedal. And, um, you know, a lot of guys will work the volume on their guitars. And sometimes, depending on the guitar, that might be hard to do to, to play and try to reach your finger over to roll the volume back and forth while you're still playing, especially if you're doing a solo. You know, so um, it's, it's better I can just, you know, stand up and have a strap on and, and just play the guitar and I can use my foot to rock the volume pedal back and forth and do volume swells. So I'll give you an example right over here a little bit. So that's why I have the volume pedal. So let's move to the next pedal. And also the, the signal chain, it's gonna get a little more elaborate. It actually is gonna split off after I go through the first pedal board. And I'll explain that in a minute. But right now, the volume pedal, my next pedal is a wah. Everybody knows what a wah is, hopefully. Let's see. Let's get the volume back up. what that does now I have on my second pedal board I'm going to go ahead and jump into this for a minute I have two rows of effects the top row is for my lead tone uh, for my soloing and whatnot or you're just you know like a heavier rock sound and the bottom row of effects is for my clean rhythm tone so how I may set this up is if I have a two channel amplifier like the one that I built for myself it was like 16 years ago. Um, it has a dirt channel and it has a clean channel. So I have two different input jacks on the amp. So I can actually run my clean effects into the clean channel on the amp. I can run my, my drive pedals, uh, the top row of pedals into the, um, the overdrive side and kind of use that to get my, um, you know, my overdrive tone or my rock tone. And I have an AB switch that I can switch you know, from the lower effects to the upper effects. But I wanted to have, now I have two different lines of effects, right, with the AB pedal. But what I wanted to do was have some common effects that were common to both the lead channel and the rhythm channel. And so what I did was, as I run my guitar directly into the volume, out of the volume into the wah, out of the wah into this old yeller, which is kind of a lower gain uh, overdrive pedal, Sounds like this. So I can play that pedal through either the A channel, which is the clean rhythm sound, 
and uh, I can just get a little bit of hair, you know, it's, it's not an over the top drive pedal. So I really like that through my clean um, sound, or I can hit the, the B switch. And do it. Ooh, actually that's the clean rhythm channel right there. So, so my tone controls can be set on one channel a certain way for like a clean sound. So the drive pedal is going to sound different through the clean versus switching through the uh, overdrive side. So those are common effects there. And I've also got a, a um, this pedal here. It's called a Nobles um, ODR pedal. Very highly recommended um, pedal. The, the very low drive setting gives you kind of a, uh, like a Mike Campbell, kind of um, a dirty rhythm tone. And Mike Campbell was a guitar player for Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. And um, so if you ever listen to the, the, the guitar work in that, the rhythm stuff will have just a little bit of a, a very subtle drive tone to it. And um, it sounds really great. So I've got to get this hooked up on the pedal board. I've been moving stuff around, so I'm not quite finished with it. So anyway, so now we'll talk about the Morley ABY pedal. And A, B, and Y. What that means is you can switch it to where your signal goes into the middle and out to the A channel. A channel is my clean rhythm tone. If I switch it to the B channel, it goes to the upper effects, to the overdrive channel on the amp. Or I have a third function, it's called the Y. It takes the signal coming in and it splits it both ways. And it runs both sets of my effects in parallel into the amplifier. And yes, both channels can amplify at the same time uh, with their different frequency ranges. And it's, it's a really cool uh, effect when you can do both. Um, but you, I'm going to tell you a little secret about doing all this. You have to be really careful with the volume control on all of your effects. Because you really don't want any one effect to be louder than the other. So you kind of have to listen for it as you're tuning. You just have to play, turn each effect on one at a time and listen for the volume and, and just go through them all, you know, until you get the volume kind of dialed in. I haven't really gotten complete with that, but I am working on it. Now the time-based effects, they don't really, I don't think they necessarily really affect the volume too much. Um, time-based effects are like my TC stereo chorus my uh, Digitech Polaro Reverb pedal, my Super Trim. Now the Tremolo, the full tone Tremolo is really cool. It does have a volume control on it, so you can actually use that as a boost circuit, um, which I'm not gonna do on that effect. Um, I've got MXR Phase 90, and, and I'll turn the effects on and let you hear them all, what they do. Um, I've got a Mad Professor Super Black, which gives you kind of a cranked up black bass Super Reverb um, effect on the rhythm channel. And then I've got my Boss Giga Delay. I've had that pedal for like 20 years, man. Fantastic pedal. Very dependable. Uh, I've had it forever. Um, then on the top line of effects, I've got a Missing Link Audio Germanium um, Peacock Overdrive pedal. That's kind of the Dwayne Allman in the box. The next pedal is a full tone OCD version 1.4 for all you gear nerds. Um, then I've got a JD Analog Super Lead pedal. It's um, kind of designed to give you that 1959 um, Super Lead Marshall sound. And no, it was not built in 1959. That's just the designation for the circuit. Um, I think that amp came out kind of in the early 70s. Um, then I have the JD Analog Tone of the Gods. I have a spring reverb pedal, and then I have my Carl Martin delay pedal. So I have tons of effects, but they all have their place here. And um, I've had some of these pedals for got a long time. Um, so I'm going to go to the rhythm channel right now with just the clean tone and nothing but the reverb right now. Gibson.
some uh, Les Paul tone there. All right, let's do, um, let's go with a super black. I'm gonna turn that on, get a little bit of a little, little dirt. All right, there's actually two switches on the super black, so. Tone super trim. It's a tremolo pedal. We can do it like a little John Fogarty here, a little CCR. <laughs> setting on that pedal. Um, let's go to the TC stereo chorus now. <laughs> Johnson actually favors this TC stereo chorus. It's probably why I bought one because he endorsed it and I like his tone. <laughs> and flanger on the TC pedal. <laughs> the tape delay um So I'm gonna switch to B. I'm gonna do the uh, Missing Link Audio Peacock now. This is the Dwayne Allen. <laughs> 
Transistors is they they kind of give you a smoother tone. So let's go to the full tone OCD. <laughs> tone is um, it's it's a little warmer tone it doesn't really get very bright so um, that may work in certain situations but it can't be my be all end all drive pedal I will tell you though the first time I played it through this twin this 57 tweed twin clone I've got over here I had it crank up and I had the treble turned up on the amp that pedal blew me away so full tone OCDs they're the real deal um, first time I ever got to play one was recently and uh, I was very impressed with the tone, so love that, but got to have more than one drive pedal, right? So JD Analog Super Lead. <laughs> Super Lead in front of Tone of the Gods, turn the Super Lead on and the preamp on and the boost of Tone of the Gods with it. everything on now and um, so I would love to know your thoughts on the different pedals especially the drive pedals and tell me what you think about those um, I'm really partial to tone of the gods and the super lead if I could only have like a couple of things on here for my lead tone it would be those two pedals I could probably live without the OCD the peacock the peacock's cool I love it um, and I'm glad that I have them all but if, if I really had to pick and choose and scale down Tone of the Gods and Super Lead, they would be my go-to. Uh, when they are cranked up, whew, man, let me tell you, just give me goosebumps. Um, 
but yeah, so I, I'm really, really pretty stoked right now with the way the pedal board is set up and with, um, we got a little bit more cleaning up to do in here, but, um, man, one day I'll come out and do a demo. I'll crank up my big daddy with my 412 cabinet and, um, and we'll, we'll rattle the windows in here and let you hear these pedals, you know, with, with an amp that's being pushed. And, uh, it, it's really impressive. I'm not going to kid you. So that is, um, that is my pedal board layout and my signal path. And, um, anyway, tell me what you guys think about it. All right. Thank you, Mike.